everyone! Welcome into my studio. It is I, Anne, and you may know this channel as Anne Makes. And welcome if you are new here, and if you'd like to subscribe to uh, not miss anything, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below, or the Anne Makes in the corner of the screen there. And don't forget to click on the bell until it moves side to side, so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Today, I have a fun stamping tip to share with you. And it's all about keeping our stamps clean. So, what this involves is, you're not gonna believe this maybe, but I was at a Dollar Tree. This was several weeks ago, by the way, before uh, everything went sideways. <laughs> and I saw these cooling towels by Absorb Tex. And it is called a Pet Care, from Pet Care Products. It says it's a washing, drying, grooming, cooling towel. And you can see the disheveled little puppy here. He's so cute with the towel. So they sell these in this kind of tube here that you can um, open up. They do open. They are a little tough to open. But with some... Ugh, a little bit of strength you can take these apart okay so in here you get a cooling towel that measures a 17 by 12 inches which is sorry about the crinkling comes in this little crinkly bag okay so I'm gonna take it out now, when you purchase it, it is damp. I've already uh, dampened it some more under the tap with my own tap water. I like, I'm just one of those people who likes to watch things when I get them home. So that's been done already. So here is the cloth. Let me take my mouse pad out of the way. So this is the cloth. Now, I accidentally tore it here. That's, that's on me. So this is the actual cooling towel that you get from the Dollar Tree. Measures 17 by 12 inches. Now, when I bought this, I thought this looked so similar to another product, a tool that I already have in my craft room or studio here. And that is something called a stamp chamois. Now, I got this one from Lawn Fawn. Thank you, Lawn Fawn. Um, this was gifted to me. I don't remember exactly when this was gifted to me. It was either at a, a crop, an event, a conference, something. You know, I do a lot of these things. So I just know that this was gifted to me. And it's a really neat little thing. It comes like this. I, I kept all the packaging just for you guys but I don't usually store it in the packaging like this, but I wanted to show you how it comes in its um, store, the, from the store, how you would get it from the store. So that's what it comes in. And this is the chamois. Now, and this is the size of the chamois. And of course, they have the really cute little Lawn Fawn logo on here. I don't have that on this, but, I have been playing with this one and I have used it and I washed it really well to show it nicely on camera. This is the actual stamp chamois and this is my cooling towel. Now what I found is that this cooling towel is very similar. It's not the same but it's very very similar to the stamp chamois. The cooling towel is slightly thinner than the stamp chamois. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I can see it because I'm looking at it really, really close. This is thinner. This is thicker. The colors are different, obviously. But I find they work very, very much in a similar fashion. And look how many you can get out of this. So you can get at least, depending on how you cut it, and I'm gonna to try to cut one around this area here. You can get several 
of these chamois out of this cooling towel. Look at that. I mean, you I would just, you know, cut it in four, but because I made this I made this tear here, I'm gonna go around that. And you get a lot of these chamois. Now, you're gonna say, well, I still don't know what this is, Anne. What's a stamp chamois? A stamp chamois is to clean your stamps after using them. So how this works is that you wanna keep this very damp, and I will go past this under some water in my, in my sink here, and I will be right back so I can uh, show you how it works properly. And the same with this one. But I, I'm gonna do that after I cut this one, because it'll be easier to cut it while it's just a little damp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make several stamp chamois out of this one cooling towel. And what I'm gonna show you after is that these can be used to clean our stamps that we use in our card making, uh, paper crafting, all sorts of things that we like to do with either clear acrylic stamps or rubber mounted stamps. This works, this is very useful for all sorts of stamps. So here I also have some Lawn Fawn stamps. I just thought I would keep it in the family. And these were gifted to me from Lawn Fawn. Um, this was, I believe I got this at Creativation in a goodie bag. So I'm gonna take this adorable little fox. If you're wondering what the stamp set is, it is uh, Butterfly Kisses LF1882. Lawn Fawn made in the USA. So this is an acrylic block that I have. It's just one of my favorite acrylic blocks to use. It's, it's, it's been beat up, but I really like using it. So I'll just put little Foxy here. And uh, we're going to stamp some images with Foxy after. And we are uh, going to clean the stamp with the stamp chamois. And that is the principle of this, is that once this is damp, you keep it damp, you can clean your stamp with it. And they, this works really great. This is a really great uh, idea. But I, when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, I thought, isn't this a great alternative for those of us, because I know I couldn't find this thing here in my neck of the woods. and I'm in Canada and I'm in a small town and this is not something that was readily available. I was very lucky to go to an event and I, to receive this as a gift. But I thought there might be other people like myself who can't access this. They can't find it online. They can't find it in a local store. So you could head out to your Dollar Tree and right now with the current situation, it's not a good idea to do non-essential trips to stores. Of course, we have to limit our outings. But if uh, when things get better, things calm down, uh, you might wanna go look for this at your local Dollar Tree. And you could, Basically, you could make four or more of these damn chamois out of one of these and save a lot of money and you could share with your friends, right? So I'm going to cut this one. I'm just going to cut it like this. Whoops, cut my chamois a little bit. So I get it. I'm just going around here because I have this piece here. Okay, and you can see it cuts really easily with scissors. So basically I can cut this to any size I want. Um, and I could just, I could cut in four, whatever. You know, I don't really mind what the size is and all that, but see, I'm just gonna set this one aside for now. And another thing I wanna show you is that one of the things that I do when I am working at my desk is I have this little bowl and this is actually sold for pet food. <laughs> I think this is a 3M product and it says pet face and it's supposed to be like a cat food bowl. But I just thought it was so cute that I've never used it for the cat's food, sorry Snowball. But I keep it on my desk here and I can keep my little stamp chamois damp and I put it in this little bowl. So that way I don't get 
the dampness all over my other stuff on my desk, which I have been known to do. And I just keep it in the bowl and it stays damp, uh, you know, for as long as I need it to. And then when I'm done using it, I can go wash it. So that's one of the things I do. So now this one is the cooling towel and this is the lawn fawn one. So I'm going to go get these pretty wet and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Now, truth be told, this room gets very, is very dry uh, because we are, although it's, it's March, it's March 24th here, uh, we still have a lot of snow outside. We had snow last night, so, and it's still very cold, so we are heating. And um, yeah, so the air is pretty dry in here, so my chamois tend to dry up faster so that's why i find that putting them in this little bowl here while i work um, makes them stay damper longer if that makes any sense all right so we're gonna take our little stamp here a cute little fox Just think it's so adorable and i have some scraps here of uh express it blending card so this is great for alcohol-based markers stuff, but they're scraps that I've kept uh, because this kind of paper I find is expensive, so I keep the little scraps, um, little off-cuts for things for small projects like I'm doing now. Like So but you can see here, these are two tags that I cut and they were, they were messed up. So we're going to still use them. And a tip I have for you is this is my, a mouse pad that I have. I use the back of it like this. And I put the tags there. Now these are, this is a new acrylic stamp. So something that I like to do when I get a brand new acrylic stamp is that I basically erase it. <laughs> I don't really erase it, but I find that doing this removes that coating that is on the stamp uh when brand new stamps often come out from the manufacturer they have this sometimes they have this coating on it that make it hard for the ink to stick to them not all of them but sometimes so that's just a tip i have for you if you find that um you can do that you, if you find your stamp is not stamping a new stamp uh try the eraser trick so let's see now this is I just took it out of the package let's see if this works I'm using some memento fade resistant dye ink in tuxedo black that is just my go-to ink for stamping images little images like this okay so I'm gonna stamp foxy here and I like to use a mouse pad or a few sheets of craft foam because I find that this helps to make a nice crisp image. See, I find that the the mat absorbs. It's it's easy. I get a better image doing it this way than directly on my hard desk. So there's another little fox here. Okay, see, there, so, oh, actually I did that wrong. Okay, let me do that again. So I've used the stamp. I'm gonna show you how I would clean it off, although it's not very dirty, on the Lawn Fawn stamp chamois, see? This way I can get, I clean it off very, very nicely. I can clean the little stamp block if I got any ink on it and this is just wet and now this has done a great job of cleaning my little stamp and I'll show you again how see nothing all the ink's gone it did a fantastic fantastic job so let's try the Dollar Tree Absorb Text cooling towel we're just going to press, we'll just put an image on the back of this card 
just for the sake because I forgot to clean it. Anyway, so there we go. Okay, so with my little Absorb Text towel, we're going to do the same thing. And voila, it's cleaning my block. It did, the, it did a very good job. It cleaned it just as well as the Lawn Fawn. And I'm able to clean the block. And there. So I'm not trying to take away from the uh, this one, the branded one. Uh, this is a very great tool. But if you cannot get this tool, you can't afford it, and you would really like to have something similar, uh, check out Dollar Tree when the situation um, will be better. <laughs> it will be, it will be uh, safer for us to go out shopping uh, and see if you can find these chamois towels. And you get, and here in Canada, these these are a Canadian made product. Absorb tax towels at the Dollar Tree. Every item at Dollar Tree in Canada is $1.25. So for $1.25, I can make four or more of these little chamois to clean my stamps. And optional is you could go to Dollarama and get this little cat food bowl to sit pretty on your desk to hold your little chamois while you're working. <laughs> and I believe this was two or three dollars at Dollarama. Another tip I have for you is at Dollar Tree they sell some wipes travel case and this happens to be branded by Sesame, the Sesame Street and I got this one because it's pink and as you know for those of you who have been watching me for a while know that I love to use pink. So I have an old tra travel case from years gone by from my own kids' um, wipes when they had wipes. But I bought this one brand new because these are available at the dollar store at Dollar Tree. They have, uh, and I want to show you that this is a sticker basically on top. Sorry, Elmo, but we can peel it off totally. If you wanna peel this off, and then make your own label for it you can you could leave the the little monster here or not but i thought this was a great little way to travel with your case also to keep your little chamois uh, damper damp longer and also to keep your desk dry so this way you can clean off your your stamp, you know, close this up, and you know, go make yourself a sandwich and come back and fin and color in your little cards or your tags. <laughs> so that's my tip for today. Uh, a quick and easy way to clean your stamps uh, by using these little towels that you keep wet. And I just wanted to share that with you. So I hope you like this tip today and I hope that you are combating this um, stir craziness that you may be going through from all of us being uh, told to stay home, uh, you know, because we want to be safe and we want to keep others safe. So be healthy, be well, stay safe, and keep on crafting. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay crafty. Bye.